Shemuel Shani, 2 Samuel 19. And it was told Yoav, Behold, the king weeps and mourns for Avshalom. And the victory that day was turned into mourning unto all the people. For the people heard say that day how the king was grieved for his son. And the people got them by stealth that day into the city, as people being ashamed steal away when they flee in battle. But the king covered at his face, and the king cried with a loud voice, O my son Avshalom, O Avshalom, my son, my son. And Yoav came into the house to the king and said, You have shamed this day, Eth, the faces of all your servants, which this day have shaved, rather saved Eth your life, and Eth the, li the lives of your sons, and of your daughters, and the lives of your women, and the lives of your concubines, and that you love at your enemies and hate at your friends. For you have declared this day that you regard neither princes nor servants. For this day I perceive that if Avshalom had lived and we had died, rather, and all we had died this day, then it had pleased you well. Now therefore arise, go forth and speak comfortably unto your servants. For I swear by Yahuwah, if you go not forth, there will not tarry one with you this night. And that will be worse unto you than all the evil that befall you, rather befell you from your youth until now. Then the king arose and sat in the gate. And they told all the people, saying, Behold, the king sits in the gate. And all the people came before the king. For Yashadael had fled every man to his tent. And all the people were at strife throughout all the tribes of Yashadael, saying, The king saved us out of the hand of our enemies, and he delivered us out of the hand of the Palishitim, and now he has fled out of the land for Avshalom. And Avshalom, whom we anointed over us, is dead in battle. Now therefore, why speak ye not a word of bringing Eth the king back? And King David sent to Sedok and to Aviathar the priests, saying, Speak unto the elders of Yahuda, saying, Why are ye the last to bring Eth the king back to his house, seeing the speech of all Yashadael is come to the king, even to his house? Ye are my brethren, ye are my bones and my flesh. Wherefore then are ye the last to bring back Eth the king? And say ye to Amasa, Are ye not, rather, are you not of my bone and of my flesh? Elohim do so to me, and more also, if you be not captain of the host before me continually in the room of Yoav. And he bowed at the heart of all the men of Yahuda, even as the heart of one man, so that they sent this word unto the king, Return you and all your servants. So the king returned and came to the Yardan, and Yahuda came to Gilgal to go to meet the king, to conduct Eth the king over Eth the Yardan. And Shim'i, the son of Gera, a bin ha Yamini, which was of Barukim, hasted and came down with the men of Yahuda to meet King David. And there were a thousand men of Binyamin with him, and Siva, the servant of the house of Shaul, and his fifteen sons, and his twenty servants with him. And they went over the Yardan before the king. And there went over a ferry boat to carry over at the king's household, and to do what he thought good. And Shimei, the son of Gera, fell down before the king, as he was come over the Yardan. And he said unto the king, Let not my lord impute iniquity unto me, neither do you remember at that which your servant did perversely the day that my lord the king 
went out of Yerushalayim, that the king should take it to his heart. For your servant knows that I have sinned. Therefore, behold, I am come the first this day of all the house of Yosef to go down to meet my lord, the king. But Avishai, the son of Tseruiah, answered and said, Shall not Shemi be put to death for this, because he cursed Yahuwah's eth anointed? And David said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Seruyah, that ye should this day be adversaries unto me? Shall there any man be put to death this day in Yashadael? For do not I know that I am this day king over Yashadael? Therefore the king said unto Shimi, You shall not die. And the king swore unto him. And Mephivi Osheth, the son of Shaul, came down to meet the king, and had neither dressed his feet, nor trimmed his beard, nor washed at his clothes, from the day the king departed until the day he came again in peace. And it came to pass, when he was come to Yerushalayim to meet the king, that the king said unto him, Wherefore went not you with me, Mephibosheth? And he answered, My lord, O king, my servant deceived me. For your servant said, I will saddle me an ass, that I may ride thereon, and go to Eth the king, because your servant is lame, and he has slandered your servant unto my lord the king. But my lord the king is as an angel of Elohim. Do therefore what is good in your eyes. For all of my father's house were but dead men before my lord the king, yet did you set Eth your servant among them that did eat at your own table. What right therefore have I yet to cry any more unto the king? And the king said unto him, Why do you speak any more of your matters? I have said, You and Siva divide at the land. And Mephibosheth said unto the king, Yea, let him take at all, for as much as my lord the king is come again in peace unto his own house. And Barzillai the Giladi came down from Rogalim and went over at the Yardan with at the king to conduct him over the Yardan. Now, now Barzillai was a very aged man, even fourscore years old, and he had provided at the king of sustenance while he lay at Machanaim, for he was a very great man. And the king said unto Barzillai, Come over with me, and I will feed you with me in Yerushalayim. And Barzillai said unto Eth the king, How long have I to live, that I should go up with the king unto Yerushalayim? I am this day fourscore years old, and can I discern between good and evil? Can your servant taste Eth what I eat, or Eth what I drink? Can I hear any more the voice of singing men and singing women? Wherefore then should your servant be yet a burden unto my lord the king? Your servant will go a little way over Eth the Yardan with Eth the king. And why should the king recompense it me with such a reward? Let your servant, I pray you, turn back again that I may die in my own city and be buried by the grave of my father and of my mother. But behold your servant Kimham. Let him go over with my lord the king, and do to him eth what shall seem good unto you. And the king answered, Kimham shall go over with me, and I will do to him that which shall eth seem good unto you. And whatsoever you shall require of me, that will I do for you. And all the people went over at the Yardan. And when the king was come over, the king kissed Barzillai and blessed him, and he returned unto his own place. Then the king went on to Gelgal, and Kimham went on with him. And all the people of Yahudah conducted at the king, and also half the people of Yashara'el. And behold, 
all the men of Yashara'el came to the king and said unto the king, Why have our brethren, the men of Yahuda, stolen you away and have brought at the king and at his household and all David's men with him over at Yardan? And all the men of Yahuda answered the men of Yashara'el, Because the king is near of kin to us, Wherefore then be ye angry for this matter? Have we eaten at all of the king's cost? Or has he given us any gift? And the men of Yashara'el answered at the men of Yahuda and said, We have ten parts in the king, and we have also more right in David than ye. Why then did ye despise us that our advice should not be first had in bringing back at our king. And the words of the men of Yahuda were fiercer than the words of the men of Yashara'el.